Film jammers. What's up, film jammers? Hey guys, we have a very special guest today, Mercedes Gutierrez, actress and model. Hey. She's gonna help us compare the three foot Octa Softbox to the five foot Octa Softbox. Are you ready to get modeling and get crazy? Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> So comparing the three foot and the five foot soft boxes is something I wanted to do for a while now. We just picked up the five foot Octa soft box and I wanna see how much better it's gonna wrap that light around the talent and how much bigger of a spread it has when photographing them. Mm -hmm. And the big question, is it worth the money and the space it takes up in your studio? Hmm. So today we're gonna to be snapping pics on the Canon EOS R, which is their new mirrorless camera with the 85 millimeter 1.2 lens, my favorite lens. You wanna to touch it? Can I? Mm -hmm. Naked. Just kidding. For strobes, we're using the Profoto 500 Watt D2s. They're great all around strobes for in studio use and they pack lots of power. Boom! Mm. That was the power of the strobe. Oh. And you also get high speed sync with these strobes, which is great because you can take that shutter speed from 1 200th of a second all the way up to 1 8000th of a second. Wow. You can stop anything. You could stop uh, lightning. You could stop Superman with those strobes. Couldn't stop Wonder Woman. She's a little faster, actually, I've heard. You've heard that? I've heard it on the streets of uh, Makes sense. the gamer conventions that I hang out at. Yeah. Let's look at a few of the pros and cons. So this might seem obvious, but it's also the biggest difference to me. The three foot is a lot more portable than the five foot. Mm -hmm. You could take the three foot out with you on location. I put it on the end of a painter's pole the other day and combine it with a B1X strobe and boom, we're out in the streets. We had a portable softbox. Yeah. Could mm -hmm. also fit in the back of an SUV. An SUV, you say? Yeah. That's That's convenient. The five foot, it's just too big to transport unless you break it down. Mm -hmm. And it's also like a sail in the wind if you're out on location. You could do it, but it's very unwieldy. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to wield, as mm -hmm. they say in the uh, business. I do share that. They say that a lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe the five foot could make a lot more sense if you had a bigger crew and people to handle all that gear mm -hmm. and tie it down. But when I'm traveling, I like to use the three foot. So that brings us to set up and break down. See, the five foot is a little bit of a struggle to put together. A struggle for a muggle, maybe. It's not as big of an issue as some reviewers might say once you get the hang of it, but it's more of an ordeal than I would like to deal with when I'm doing a shoot and I don't want to set it up and take that 20 minutes to bend the sticks and put it together. So I normally leave my five foot Octa softbox set up in the studio and take the three foot when I'm heading out of town, going to Tokyo. All right, so let's get to the meat and potatoes already. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see how these two softboxes compare when shooting photos. Mm. Let's, let's see. see. Okay guys, we're here in the studio now. We've got the three foot Octa set up. We've got the five foot Octa set up. Let's see what these legends of light can do. First, we're gonna do the three foot softbox. We're gonna shoot here. Mercedes is on the white psych background. We're just using one strobe to see what that results in when we shoot it on the 85 millimeter photo lens. Swapping these two out. That was the three foot. Five foot's coming in. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a big daddy. So we just shot on the 85 millimeter lens and we did the three foot and the five foot. We shot some great stuff in here and now she's gonna change her outfit and we're gonna go to a 50 millimeter lens next. Heck yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're here, we've got Mercedes in a new outfit. We're gonna try it out with the 50 millimeter lens. We're gonna go with the five foot soft box first and then we're gonna do the same poses in the three foot.
Okay, so we just finished up the little photo shoot here. We shot with the three foot and the five foot soft boxes. We're gonna take those photos, look at them on the computer, look at them on the camera. They don't look that different, honestly, but maybe on the computer, they look a little different side by side. All right, guys, we hope this comparison of the Pro Photo 3 foot Octa and the 5 foot Octa was helpful. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer the smaller, compact size of the 3 foot or the wider wrap of the 5 foot? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next week. And it also fits in the back of an USV SUV. <laughs>